Today under 2016 Fiat 500X, we're going to be doing a test fit on the Thule Apex XT Hanging Style 2 bike rack. I've already got it loaded up just to give you a good idea what it looks like and how it holds our bikes. So we've got two straps for our top tube and we've got one for our seat post tube. This one for our seat post tube is going to help cut down on that bike to bike contact, bike to bike rack contact, and bike to vehicle contact. Now, real quick, before we go any further, I just want to point out that with everything in place here, we can actually access our rear hatch. As you can see, we barely had enough room for it to swing open, but all you have to do is push on the bike rack slightly to get that extra bit of room, and you're going to have more than enough room to open up that rear hatch to remove any cargo, gear, groceries, anything you have with you on your trip. So there's no need to remove the bike, tilt the bike rack away. You can just open it up with everything in place. Another thing I'd like to point out, it's a really nice feature, is the cable lock that is included with this bike rack. Once you've got everything all loaded up, it simply secures right here at the front. You can lock it, and that way no one's gonna be able to remove your bikes. You can leave it unattended. So let's go ahead and take the bike off. To do so, you just press in on the little button here and pull the strap out. Sometimes, if it feels like it doesn't want to give, you can press on, or excuse me, push up on the bottom of the strap and guide it through. So there's a couple different ways to make it easier on yourself. Here you go. Take the bike off. Now, I do like to replace those straps. You can leave them undone for next time if you'd like. With that being said, the cradles here are made of a soft rubber, so we don't need to worry about them harming or scratching the finish of our bike. Let's go ahead and take some measurements. So overall, we've added about 28 and a half inches. Nice thing is, the arms fold down when not in use. This would be ideal for pulling in your garage or a tight parking spot. We're down to about 13 inches. The space between is going to be around, around 10 inches, and our closest point down here is about 4.5 inches. Our final measurement is about 10.5 inches of ground clearance. Now if we do need that extra space to access our rear hatch, maybe we're unloading a piece of furniture or something else large, we can tilt the bike rack away. Pull up on the handle down here. Then we've got more than enough room to get in here and grab those large items. When you're all set, pull the, uh, the handle towards you again, lift it up until it locks in position. Now it's going to work with your inch and a quarter or two inch receivers. It actually includes an, uh, excuse me, a sleeve that slides over that inch and a quarter shank and allows it to work with a two inch receiver. Now this whole system here is also a tool-free installation. We've actually got like a little auto pin here that lines up and engages within the hole. And then we come over here to this knob, tighten that up, and that's going to help reduce all that play and rattle within our receiver and our bike rack to make a nice solid ride for our two bikes. <clears throat> but with that being said, that's going to complete our test fit of the Thule Apex XT Hanging Style 2 bike rack on our 2016 Fiat 500X. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 